All right, DJ Connect, you know what it is. We coming at you with an unboxing video today. We got the brand new TZ Audio Products, the Stellar X2 Vintage. This thing is supposed to be fire. I'm gonna give you guys the real deal information on this, uh, what I really think about it. So make sure you check them out, www.techzoneaudioproducts.com. I'm gonna put all the links below um, where you can find these things and you can definitely check them out. Body made in China, but the design is made in Southern California. So I got some big hopes on this thing. This thing should be absolutely fire. Make sure you check them out. Again, I'm gonna post all of the links below where you can get this thing. I got it off Amazon, came literally within the next day. I love that. Uh, so let's check this thing out. It's got a dope box, so I'm not trying to destroy it here. So you guys see me taking my time. Got the knife out, we're just gonna chop it up a little bit. Get the plastic off here. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm a big fan of like nice boxes. If something comes in like a nice design box, everything looks crisp, everything looks clean, I'm gonna definitely make sure that the thing is always maintained the same way. I'm definitely gonna make sure that the box stays in that condition. I love when it looks nice, so that's just me. I don't know about you, but I like to keep all my things very nice. So right off the hop, like this is hype, this is dope. It comes in its own little flight case. That's sick, like impressed right off the hop. Number one thing about like products and design is like when you're giving somebody something, you're selling them a product, it has to come packaged properly. It's gotta look nice. First impressions are so, so important. And this thing literally comes in its own little flight case, like come off of it, that's dope. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. This one is the Stellar X2 Vintage Studio Condenser Microphone. Right now I have the Blue Yeti hooked up, so I'm gonna take a little video of the Blue Yeti first, then we're gonna swap it out, change the sound, and we're gonna see how much nicer this thing sounds. I think it's gonna be dope. Capture the tone of popular classic microphones. Microphone designed by Tech Zone Audio Products. Let's go. The TZ Stellar X2. So let's get into this box. Like, great opening already. That's dope. Uh, we got a case, obviously. Always good to have a microphone case. You got your wind blocker. And then you got the mic. It's got some nice little weight to it. Not too big. Um, capsule form. It's got a decent little weight to it. Obviously, there's uh, some proper quality built inside of this thing. Uh, looks beautiful, like looks flawless, looks incredible. And then you got your stand. This is the nut to connect to if you got like a hanging bar or something. That's your little nut to connect that up. And then you got your casing too. So this obviously fits inside of this here. Uh, let me put that little capsule nut inside of it first. Sorry, actually the capsule nut goes in here, obviously. Because the XLR is what goes inside. Alright, so for this, it's hard to do uh, on video, but you're just going to pop this open a little bit. Get some space in there, push it in, and you're good to go. So this is the fully built setup here. This is gonna to connect to whatever you're using. Like if I have a hanging microphone stand, uh, so we're gonna have that there. Uh, it's literally just gonna pop there, hold on. Um, normally mine sit this way. So we're gonna make sure we find out what kind of direction this microphone works in. Uh, and then we're gonna go from there. I'm gonna assume that it's gotta spin forward ways. Nothing else in the box. Like this is dope that it comes with this little box fully set up, you got your wind cover for it. And then for paperwork, all you got is your test right here. Uh, they did a 14 hour burn-in test, polarization voltage, frequency sweep, sensitivity, noise floor, and a visual inspection. Everything manually checked off, so that's good. It was all checked on August 23rd, 2020, so a little bit ago, but that's okay. Stellar X2 uses a high quality steel body. Definitely very, very solid build for sure. Uh, custom made, low noise, transformerless, FET circuit, U47 style capsule. 
Uh, the combination of these two features yields a microphone with a high output signal, extremely low distortion, and low self noise. So I'm interested in seeing that. The Blue Yeti seems to definitely have a bit of noise, so this will be good to get on there. Uh, and as you'll see, this is XLR, this is not USB, so make sure you guys have an XLR. You're, you might need an external sound card if you're using something like this, or if you're plugging it into your, your mixer, you could probably use it that way as well. Uh, I'm just gonna see if there's any more good information on here. Manually biased, ensure a smooth and balanced sound. Capsule is based on the classic Newman U47 with additional changes to provide a more sensitive microphone. Very warm mid-range focus microphone. Perfect for st string instruments as well as vocal recording as it reduces sibilance and other unpleasant mouth sounds. So you already know I got all them mouth sounds. And every Stellar X2 goes through intensive training at their small facility in Southern California. Good to know, this should be good to go. Frequency sweep test, echo chamber, as well as self noise test to ensure every circuit performs within specifications. That's it, you get your aluminum flight case, your spring shock mount, uh, adapter, foam wind cover, and leather pouch. The rest of it is just technical specs, so we're actually just gonna take this thing up there, get this thing ready to work, and see what happens. So I will check you guys out shortly, let's go. All right, fam, let's get down to the brass tacks. <laughs> Does anyone even know what that, I don't even know what that means. Like, why do people say that? I don't know. Please let me know in the comments right now why someone would ever say that because I have no clue and I don't know why I just said that. But here we go. As you'll see, I don't have this thing plugged in yet. This is the TZ Audio mod mod this is the x2 stellar i got the cap on but don't worry about it this thing is going to be fire i believe it will be fire and we're going to find out right now so right now i am using my blue yeti and momentarily i'm going to be swapping this thing out and we're going to get this thing live in the mix right here we're going to find out if it sounds better so make sure you guys are listening right here right now to my voice and hearing it really take it in because we're going to swap it over and then from here on out we're going to be using the tz audio we're going to give this thing a real run through um i can't really give you guys a opinion until i hear it back and we'll go from there. So we're gonna hop over right now to the TZ audio. We're gonna check this thing out. I will check you guys soon. Let's go. All right, so we're back. We are officially hooked up. We got the TZ audio Stellar X2 Vintage hooked up right now. Hopefully this thing sounds incredible. Uh, I'm definitely going to listen to the playback and then give you guys my opinion. Uh, but you guys can definitely make your own opinion. Let me know how it sounds in the comments. I am very excited for this thing because this is going to become my new microphone uh, for all videos and for especially when I'm working on the DJ controller. I cannot wait to plug this thing in and work off of it because it's so hard for me to use the, the above mic. It's a sure... I know you guys have seen me like sometimes I got to be talking like this while I'm, I'm playing and stuff. This is going to take over that because this is an all around mic that I can use for everything. I'm going to be able to talk while I'm playing and hopefully it's going to be picking up all of it just like normal. Um, that's going to be the next test and the next video that I bring out. But right now this is the official first video of the TZ Audio Stellar X2. Um, there's a lot more setup. Just I know I've talked about this before but this is definitely an XLR. If you guys can see that this thing's plugged in with XLR. So this goes into my sound card. So you're not going to be able to just take a USB cable like the Yeti mic over here. This is the old one that I had, the blue Yeti. Um, and all that was was a, a USB cable that plugged in and then it became a microphone on your computer. This is not going to work that way. You're going to need an external sound card or your mixer. Like any of your mixer is going to have that option to literally plug in with XLR. Make sure that you know that first. If not, you're going to need to buy some more gear. But from here, it goes USB to my computer, XLR out of the sound card into the microphone, which is right here. Everything's kind of set up the same way. It's hooked up on my arm. It comes with the connector right here. Everything's good to go out of the box. Awesome. I'm just going to give this thing a listen through right now and then 
I'll be right. And we're back once again. I don't know if you guys could hear it because this one actually sounds a lot better. You could always hear it on my Yeti, but it does not fail the minute that I start recording something. Phone call, phone call, phone call. Three times today, every single time that I've hopped on here to start recording, a phone call has came through. So first things first, this thing sounds incredible. You guys probably aren't going to notice this because I've now fixed this in post, but what happens when you plug this into the sound card is that it is recording in stereo format. Uh, and this is only one channel. It's only got the one channel. So only the left channel is being recorded at one time. So I fixed this in post. I just flipped the channel. I just doubled it up, which is no problem. Very easy to do. But if you don't know how to do this, um, I'm just going to show you guys the settings right here right now on OBS. So if you're streaming or something like this, this is the way that you're going to fix it. Um, but my recommendation right here, absolutely killer mic, um, not too expensive, looks beautiful. Casing is awesome. Everything it comes with comes with the flight case. This thing is amazing. Gets a big 10 out of 10 from me. Um, I'm not too big on microphone, so I don't know all the differences or like everything, but this thing sounds so much, so much better than my, my Blue Yeti, uh, without a doubt. So hopefully you guys can hear it. I could hear it immediately. I got big monitors. I got Yamaha HS8s. Um, but let me know right now in the comments if you can hear the difference on like your laptop speakers or something else. On monitor studio monitors, you can hear like night and day the difference between these things. Um, but I'm not sure about like on home, just computer speakers or something like that. So please let me know in the comments right now if you can hear a big difference in the audio quality. I love it. This thing's awesome. Can't wait to be rocking out with this thing a lot. Um, but last but not least, I want to show you guys how to fix this on OBS. So if you're streaming or something like this, this is the way that you're going to fix it. Oh, man, you guys missed out on some of the jokes that I had because up until this point, I didn't have any audio because it wasn't added in yet. Um, so if you guys didn't notice, I came here. Audio input capture came right here. I'm using the focus right. So what you're going to find here is you're going to look for your sound card, your sound, whatever you have this thing plugged into, you got to add that. Um, so I'm using the focus, right? Came here. There's only one option for the focus, right? So that's it right there. Um, next up, you're going to come over here, down here. Um, normally what you would see, I'll actually turn it off so you can see the difference here. Uh, focus, right? We're going to turn it off mono. What you're going to see here right now is it's only tracking on the left channel, right? So only the left channel. You can probably hear it right now on your speakers. Only the left channel is working. But you're going to come in here, and because it's mono, it's only just the one channel, mono. We're going to flick that on to mono, and everything is good. Everything is reset. So that's how you fix it if you're streaming or something like that. That's the way you're going to fix it. It only has the one single channel. This is a mono setup. Boom, bang, connect. So this thing is awesome. I'm, I'm really happy with this uh, purchase right here. Shout out Tech Zone Audio Products. Fire, fire microphone. Sick little condenser. If you guys are looking for a condenser, hit the link below. I'm going to give you guys the, the links to grab this thing. Uh, and I will see you guys on the next one. Let's <laughs> go.